Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you three fun games and activities you can do with your preschoolers that I found at Target. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video now. Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you three things I recently found at Target that I thought were really great games and activities that you could do with preschoolers or kindergartners. And not only are they great games and activities, but they also have a lot of learning aspects to them, which makes them educational as well. So the first game that I want to talk about is a, this game right here called Pancake Pile Up. This game is a game made by Educational Insights. And what I really like about this one is that it's a great gross motor game. This game says it's the stack them high, serve them up relay race game. Okay, this says it is good for four year olds and up. I actually played this with three and four year olds, so it definitely works for that age as well, but they might need a little bit more assistance than the older children might. So inside this game, we have pancakes with different pictures on them. Now the pictures are important because also inside this game are sequencing cards. The whole purpose of this game is to stack your pancake stack as quickly as you can and faster than your opponent, but it has to be done in a certain order. So what I like about this is it helps preschoolers practice their sequencing and putting things in order, following directions. Okay, so there's different types of pancakes in the box along with spatulas and some plates. So another great aspect to this game is that it practices their balancing skills and making sure they keep the pancake on their spatula when they're racing from the pancake box all the way down to the plate where they are going to stack their pancake. This is a great option if you want some indoor fun, but also outdoor, it works for both. If you want a little more space, if you want to run farther, it's a great outdoor game, but it can also be easily adapted to play inside maybe on a rainy day or if it's too hot to go outside. Okay, so the next game we have is called Kids Scavenger Hunt. It is by a company called Chuckle and Roar. I really like this because it's a three pack, so it gives you three different options or scenarios that you can use with this game. And when you open it up, there are three different packs inside, one for in the car, outside and at home. Inside each of these is a set of cards for things to find inside your house, in the car, or outside. What I liked about this game was that it was very educational while incorporating gross motor fun. Okay, so just looking at our first deck at home, as you can see, there are lots of different aspects to the cards that make it educational. They have patterns, they have colors, and they have beginning sound phonics, which makes it fun and makes your child think as well while they're trying to gather these items. So for example, they would have to find an object, a white shirt, something see-through, something pink, something that starts with the letter S, and a piece of lined paper. Okay, so those are just a few examples. Now this game says it's for six-year-olds and up, which definitely would be easier if they are playing on their own. They are supposed to have a set number of cards and the person who finds all their items first wins. But I modified this game just a little bit to make it work really well for younger kids as well. What I did was I set a timer for a certain amount of time and worked with the child to find the items and find as many card items as we could in that period of time. I set it my timer for five minutes and we ran around and found as many things as we possibly could in that time. So it's great for not only older kids, but also for preschoolers. What I like about having the three different options or scenarios is that you could play the home game when it's rainy outside. You could play the outside game on a nice sunny day. And if you are going to be in the car or traveling for a long period of time, you can play the in the car pack. Lots of different options with lots of different cards. Okay, so the last thing I have is a Melissa and Doug product called Sort and Snap Color Match. Okay, this says that it includes wooden play boards, 60 colored caps, 10 reversible picture cards, and an activity sheet. Okay, and the age says two plus. 
So the reason I picked this one and wanted to look at this was because it looked great for a fine motor. So let's open this up and see what it looks like inside. Okay, so I just opened my box and I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and we'll look at it together. Okay, so this is one of the activity boards it looks like. Okay, so now I see that you get one wooden frame and then the activity sheets go inside the wooden frame. Okay, so I'm going to take out this arrow. Oh, maybe pull out this. Take out the arrow. Okay, so these are really easy to pull out and push in. That was one of my concerns that it might be a little hard for preschoolers to snap in and out if it was a snapping mechanism, but it's not. It's just a smooth surface that pushes in and out. Okay, it comes with red, blue, green, and yellow snaps. Okay, so you have more green and blue. I'm sorry yellow and blue and red and green snaps to go along with the cards okay and then we also have a lot of different pictures okay so on the instructions it says that we have colored pictures as well as blank pictures to let the children be creative with okay so let's take a look at these and see what it looks like okay so here we have a colored picture, but then on the back is a blank picture that they can create with any color they want. Makes it a little more fun, brings out their creativity, and is great for free play as well. Okay, so this is a great fine motor and color matching activity because they have to find the pegs that go with each color. There are a lot of different animals in here for them to choose from as well. Before I go, I wanted to show you how easy it is to change out these pieces and give you a look at what the wooden frame looks like as well. Okay, so for the kids, it's really easy. All they do is pull the tab, it comes right out, and they can replace it with a different picture. Really easy for them to do on their own, which is important. Okay, and then they can take their pegs and decorate it however they would like in their colors. So tell me in the comments, what are some of your favorite games or activities that you have purchased that you like to do with your kids? And if you liked this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Check out all the other videos on my channel where I share a lot of fun art projects and activity ideas that you can do with your preschoolers or kindergartners in the classroom or at home. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.